Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Akison Yawolabi Temitayo. I am super excited to have you choose to learn from my channel. In this tutorial, we'll be exploring how to create the design that we have on the screen. But before we dive into that, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel or if you are visiting this channel for the very first time, do make sure you smash the subscribe button now so as for you to stay glued to this channel and then make sure that your notification bell is on on so as for you not to mix any of the videos that will be uploading anytime soon all right uh, i'm sure you must have done that right now okay so um having done that let's quickly get um started so the first thing to do is to launch our pixel app then thereafter we come to where we have um, this uh double square okay you click on it then uh, we click on image size so in this tutorial the image size we'll be using is um so we change the width to um uh, sorry change the width to 2121 two, all right then we change the height to 3000 good then you click on ok all right then this you delete this then the next thing you need to do is to quickly work on the background so what do we do so you click on color all right click on color now uh, this is the background i would prefer to use here all right this is it so how do you go about it on your own pixel app so this is what you do so you click on the plus icon that we have here all right then under here we have this orange color you click on it okay you click on it then you click on this um, um, fill icon okay then you now click on uh, this pen icon okay so the color codes that we have here make sure you enter it into your own uh, pixel app okay all right so after that you see a kind of um, check mark here then you click on ok all right then you click on ok again then you click ok then um, automatically the color will appear here then where we have um, so the other side here where we have this uh, green okay so you click on it then uh, you uh, click on the color i i mean this uh, field color again then uh, you make sure you click on the pen icon then you input the same color code that we have here and then you click on uh, okay all right then you click on okay so you see this check mark you click on it and you click on okay all right okay now you can see that the color will also appear automatically so all right so that's how just have to do it so i just decide to now shift this to somewhere here in order to make your i mean this is going to be more deeper than the way it is all right all right so it's as simple as that now okay so that's how to go about it so the next thing you need to do now is to click on the plus icon all right then you click on uh sticker okay so let me draw the sticker and make it more bigger okay then uh, we click on the sticker and then we come to where we have uh, color so we enable the color and then we change the color to this yellow all right so what's the color code for the yellow let's check it out click on the plus icon to check it out so this is the color code um uh, f f f in four places and then zero zero i mean zero zero eight so you can just click on the pen icon to edit and then you put the same color code automatically you have access to the uh, yellow color all right so i hope you you got that good so let's see this is it so click on the check mark so then click on ok automatically the yellow color will appear on your pixel app okay so now let's position this somewhere here all right then we click on our pen icon to duplicate it so we keep duplicating till make sure that the the, um, the yellow color is showing very well okay good i think we need to do just one more all right i think it's okay like this now what else do we do so you click on our layer icon then we match the four of them together or five of them rather they click on match good now what else do we do so we click on a uh, plus icon again then um, sticker so we do the same thing we change the color to that yellow 
So we change the color, come to color, and then we change the color to yellow. Okay, then we click on OK. Then this we need to just um distort this a bit like this. Then we drag it at this edge. So we position it somewhere here. Alright, I think it's okay like this. Then we come to where we have opacity. So this opacity we reduce this to like uh, I think uh, 80 should be okay. Or well, let's make it 90. Good. I think it's okay like this. Then you click on OK. Brilliant. Then what else do we do? So um what else do we do? So we click on so we can decide to now lock them. So let's lock them. So we lock the two. Okay. And last thing we need to do is to import the background. So we click on a plus icon go from gallery. Alright, so we import this uh, summer background. So we click on OK. Alright, so this we increase the size and then we position it to work. Alright. So I only want just a few parts of the camera inside and then just a few parts of the glasses inside. So I think it's okay like um, like this. Alright, then what else do we do? So we click on uh, opacity. So we reduce this to like um, I think um, 20 should be okay. Alright, so let's make it 20. Then we click on okay. Brilliant. Then what else do we do? So we need to make I mean to lock it. Alright, then what else? So let's start with our test. So let's go copy the test we want to use. So we use we copy this um, summer trip, summer trip. Okay, then I click on our plus icon, then test. So this we double tap it, and then we paste the test. I think I need to do with this um, summer. I mean the trip for now. All right, then I click on OK. So I'll change. I'll come to this uh, A that we have here, and I'll change the font to something else so click on my font so uh, I'll use this font bypass squadron okay so I'll make this font also available for you so you can decide to um, install it on your pixel app okay then uh, for your own uh, practical okay then I'll click on this plus icon I mean, pen icon here and then make sure that my uh, test is position at the center okay i think it's okay like that so let me bring it down a bit then i think it's okay then i'll, I'll click on the pen icon again and then copy it so i'll bring this underneath it then i'll double tap it and then press and then type in trip okay all right i think it's okay like that then i can decide to increase the size of this and let me make sure that it is well positioned under the summer so i want it to be of the same size okay i think it's okay like that the others we do so we match the two together so we match the two together all right the others we uh duplicate it so let me give you a kind of a relative position Okay, then uh, we duplicate it. Okay, then uh, uh, we're gonna change the color. So we come to this polygon shape here. Then uh, we come to the color. Then we enable the color and then change the color to this green. All right. So let's check out the color code for the green. So we click on the plus icon. So um, this is the color code for the green. This is uh, the eight F zero P. Okay. So you can click on your pen icon to impute the color code. Okay, same way we've been doing earlier. All right, then you click on check mark and then click on OK. OK, OK, all right, so it's as simple as that. So then, um, uh, then this I'll give you a kind of stroke. I'll come to stroke. All right, so I'll enable the stroke. I'll give it like, I think this two is OK. Or well, let me make it three. Okay, then I'll change the stroke color to this um, green, okay. 
and click on OK. Then I'll make sure I position it at the center. I mean, do a kind of relative position. So I'll position it around around the text. Okay. Then um, what else do I do? Let's do one thing. So we click on our plus icon. So our shape. So we're gonna draw a side. I mean, this kind of shape, and then we give it color green. We click on OK. Then we reduce the size. Then we position it into the text. I mean, yeah. Then uh, we merge. Okay. Then we merge the text together with the shape. All right. Brilliant. Come to color. All right, we are the color. Then uh, we click on our plus icon here. All right, so we click on this uh, color. Uh, I mean, I mean, eyedropper color. I mean, eyedropper icon. So we select this color. Okay, this uh, background color. Then click on OK. All right, we click on OK again. So we have the feel of that color um, on our test okay then we'll take this off right so we need to position this well like this all right then as for this so we need to like uh, reduce the opacity so reduce the opacity to like uh, let's see 30 i think uh, 30 should be okay I think that it should be okay. Let's make it okay. Let's make it 40. All right, then we click on OK. Brilliant. Then now we now match the two together. So we match the two together. Okay. Then what else do we do? So we click on our plus icon. So from gallery. All right this a uh, circled sun all right so we're gonna reduce the size so position is like this so we change the color so we come to color Right, so we enable the color and then we click on this gradient. So this is the color one appear. I mean apply. Apply this gradient color. Okay. How do you go about that? Click on your uh, this plus icon to so make sure that this edge we have the same color that we used the last time. Just make sure that you know, the color appears to be like this. Okay. The color appear like this before. So you just have to do this to rotate it like this. Then you click on OK. Alright, so it's as simple as that. Then what else do we do? So we click on OK. Then what else do we do? We come to where we have our opacity. So I think I need to reduce the opacity a bit. Okay. I think this 50 is OK. 50 is OK. I'll click on OK. Now what else do I do? I I'll, I'll click on uh, this uh, erase icon, eraser. Okay. So I uh, will increase this a bit. Increase this to the extreme, and this should be somewhere around the middle here. Then I will try to what to erase a circle. So it might take your time; just have to be very patient. All right. All right. I think that's that. So let's reduce this, okay? Just to reduce the softness of the cleaning, okay? So you just clean it more, a bit more, 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 more. All right. I think it's okay like that. All right. I think it's okay like that. Then click on this check mark. Okay. All right. So you can see that we've cleaned part of this. Uh, um, circle away so what else we do now we click on our plus icon so from gallery then we're going to import this blood uh, image I did it on color draw for those who are using color draw so 
just have to bring it here because there's no way we can achieve something like this here but it is also possible anyways but it might just take much of our time all right so let's just um, reduce it so we blood the image so we I think it should be somehow somewhere like this okay I think it's okay like this then what else do we do now I have to merge the two together so I'll merge these two together all right then what else do I do so let me reduce it a bit I'll better ask to I reduce this a bit and then I'll position it somewhere okay I'll position it somewhere here all right so i want to do something what do we do we click on uh let me increase the size of this okay so let's take this off good all right now let's do one thing so we click on the test then we click on eraser okay so we want to erase part of the test here so we erase it all right now click on okay i think it's okay like that all right then uh, what do we do so we click on the plus icon and um, from gallery so we want to import an image so i'll import this image we click on okay so I'll reduce the size so I'll position it somewhere somewhere here all right good then uh, what else um, I'll click on the plus icon again I want to import another image from gallery so I'll import uh, this image okay then I'll click on OK all right so before I finally position the image, so I need to do one small thing. So what do I do? The plus icon. So draw. Okay. So I'll click on this feed inside. Okay. Then I can decide to increase the size of your pen or not. So I think this seven is okay. So what do we do? Just draw a kind of shape. it like to make sure that it joins with um, the notes at here okay you can see now what else we do so we click on ok then um, we come to we come to shadow okay so we enable the shadow so we increase this to the maximum which is 25 and make sure the color for the shadow is uh, black okay then click on ok Brilliant. Then I will click on our plus icon and uh, shape. So we draw this shape. Okay, I think this shape is okay. Then click on OK. So we reduce the size a bit. Then we put it inside our uh, side what we just drawn earlier. Okay, then we're going to change the color. All right, so we change the color to black. Brilliant. Okay. Then we come to match the two together. So we match the two together. All right. Then what else do we do? We gonna uh, replicate the same procedure, right? So you click on the uh, shadow again, right? Then you enable it again. Then you uh, increase the radius to twenty-five. Then uh, you click on plus shape. So do that process for like three times, okay? So let me just uh, change the color to black. Okay, click on OK. And uh, we reduce it and then we position it like this. Then we merge it. So merge the two. So 
quickly let's do it for the last time so we click on it then we click on uh, shadow shadow so we enable this then uh, we increase this to 25 to make sure the color is black we enable it and um, we click on our plus icon again um, shape so we reduce the size and we'll position it into the into the shape okay so we're going to change the color the color to black all right so we enable it then uh, we now match okay then now we can now change the color so go to color okay then we enable the color and then we change the color to this green okay then click on okay so you can now come to where we have opacity to reduce the opacity a bit so reduce the opacity and make it like uh, 70 should be okay so let's make it 70 okay then click on okay now then this will bring this up okay so i think it's okay like that but you can just decide to take it up a bit and then adjust it or do whatever i just want to do to it i think it's okay like this okay then what do we do so we now match the two together okay so we match these two together brilliant so now let's reduce the size and then we take it up here like this so reduce it so let's reduce the bit all right i think it's okay like this so what do we do so this image now we need to do one thing to it so we need to clean off some of i mean part of it a bit so we clean, clean on, we click on our eraser tool. All right, then uh, we uh, increase. Let me increase this a bit. I increase this. Then uh, I will begin to clean. Good. I think it's okay like that. And click on OK. Brilliant. All right. Then what else do we do okay i think that's that for that so then we need to just match i mean let's lock the content all right okay i think that's that so click on our plus icon so shape so uh, we're gonna reduce this like this so increase it more like this so let's see so let's increase it more and click on ok all right then we we're gonna copy this okay so we're gonna rotate it all right so we'll change the color of this first to let's change the color we'll change the color to change the color to this green okay then uh, this gonna uh, reduce it so we rotate it like this so we try to use it to trim um, part of this shape okay so we copy it okay so we're gonna uh, position it let's rotate this supposed to be like this yeah it's like this I'm gonna go like this yes I think it's okay like this okay then we can now match the three together okay then we go to erase eraser I mean erase okay then uh, we Okay, good. You can see that the white has disappeared automatically to take away the white. 
okay and then we click on okay good now what else we do so we click on our plus icon okay so we're gonna draw a shape so let's make it this color so okay then we reduce the size so we make it inside the shape and then we match the two together okay brilliant okay so you can see what we have now so what else do we do now i want to type in a test so let me bring in the test so we're gonna be with means cardation so we'll copy it and then click on our, our plus icon test so we're gonna edit this and then uh, we change it to this okay then um, we change the font click on a then we come to change the font so my font we change the font to this uh, viper okay then uh, we can decide to increase the size all right so let's give it a kind of um, relative positioning just make sure that it's well positioned at the center okay then this also give it a kind of relative uh, positioning uh right good so you can now decide to now match the two together so we match two together cool so let's double tap on the test so we're gonna add a kind of um space at the back so that's not trim off our test okay so now let's um reposition it make sure that it's well positioned at the center okay and now match the two together all right so this now we now reduce the size and i'll take it up somewhere here so you need to reduce the size more so it should be at the center i think it's okay uh, i think it's okay like this so let's give it a kind of relative position good so i think it's okay like that so i've got my plus icon all right i'm from gallery all right then uh, i'll bring in this image click on ok so this i will reduce the screen in the size i will take it okay so i'll bring it out like this okay but i need to reduce it more okay i only want the tree to be showing all right so let me see if i can reduce it more all right so i don't need the car i only want the tree to be showing there so click it up then uh um, we come to a polygon here then we click on uh what we call opacity so we reduce the opacity okay um let's see let's see this 79 so let's go to um color filter so the saturation Let's make it at zero. Take it back to zero. And let's see the U. Okay, I think the U should be like um, minus 36. Okay, then um, we go back to opacity. So reduce it to more. Okay, I think um, it's okay like uh, this. I think this button is okay. We click on OK. Brilliant. And what else do we do? So let's uh, lock them. So lock them. All right. So we click on our plus icon from gallery. So we're gonna click on this uh, scattered rectangle. Okay. Then this is okay like this. Uh, 
let's reduce it more okay i think it's okay like this so we change the color okay change the color to white all right then what else do we do all right let's unlock this image i think we need to do something to it so we take it back like this should appear somehow like this yeah i think that's this is how i want it yeah i think it's okay like this so let's lock this i'm gonna lock it so we'll lock it okay then let's click on our plus icon so click on sticker so we're gonna change the color of this sticker so we're gonna change the color of this sticker to this green okay so i want us to use to do i mean i want us to use to cover some of those tests okay so how do we do it so we're gonna increase okay let me increase the size a bit like this okay then now uh, we keep copying it copy it more Alright, so now let's match them. Let's match. So match them. Alright. Then we'll bring it down. We'll bring it down the tests. take it back take it up the test up the test so this image will go up this image will go up all right then uh, this will go up the car will also go up on top of the image good all right so for this um we'll still come back to it still come back to it okay and this now let's click on our plus icon right so shapes so then this uh we reduce the size like this so we probably increase it more or we'll position it down here so we give the kind of relative position all right so reduce the size more okay okay so we change the color let's change the color to this green okay then click on ok then what else we do click on the plus icon test so we're gonna bring in a test so let's copy the test i want to bring in this so bring in this test so we edit the test okay then uh, so let's drag this all right so we reduce okay so we use the test so bring this in like this okay all right then I'll click on this A here so make sure we give it a kind of we bold the test. Alright, so click on OK. What else do we do? I think that's that for that. So we need to match so we match these two. Okay, so we match them. So then this we click on our uh, plus mean plus icon so test so we're gonna bring in some other tests so i think uh, let's go copy the test 
All right, so copy it. Then uh, so this is the test. I think I need to do away with this first. Let's cut this. Okay. Alright. Then um we change the color. We change the color to black. Okay. Then um we can change the font. But let's just leave the font like that. So we bold it and then we reduce the size. Okay, so we click on OK here. So I think it's okay like this. Alright, then uh, we duplicate it. So bring it somewhere here. Okay, we also um, I want these two to be of the same size. Okay. Okay, that's why I try to duplicate it. Okay, then uh, I'll copy this into what's it called? Into coconut, right? Okay, then uh, I will uh, edit this and I'll put in a test. Okay, good, brilliant. Okay, then I'll uh, duplicate it again. So for this, I will use the size. I will change the color to uh, change the color to red. Red, okay. I'll click on OK. So what do I put in there? Let me go and bring in the content. So the content should be music performance. Okay, so I'll take it down like this and make sure I position it very well. Okay, so that to align with the DJ. Okay, then I think it's okay like that. Then I need to duplicate it. So I'll duplicate it. Okay, I'll bring this down under the date. Brilliant. So I'll edit it. Then I'll in the uh, venue okay all right I think that is that all right so I can now match all of them together now so match them match them together okay all uh, right Okay, then I will reduce the size. Brilliant. Now position it at the center. Okay. Good. I think that is that. That's all we need to do. All right. So I said we want to do something somewhere here. So this, uh, this. Let me unlock the tests. Okay, so uh, let me lock other elements. Lock this. Lock all other elements. Set that test. Okay, and for the test, so uh, click on my eraser tool. Okay, click on eraser. Okay, then we need to erase it more. So I'll reduce the softness of this. So I'll increase this to the extreme. So then I'll start to erase. So this might take your time. You just have to be very patient about it. Increase this a bit like this. This to the fullest. Then uh, we clean. So let me 
use the size of this you know size of this alright I think it's okay like uh, this all right guys you can see how beautiful what we've created is so i'm sure you can also design something as beautiful and as simple as this using your pixel app just by replicating the same procedures that i used in this tutorial all right but before you go uh, uh i would like to recommend to you that you do make sure you like this video and then make sure you subscribe to this channel so as for you to not mix any of the videos that we'll be uploading anytime soon most importantly subscribe and make sure your notification bell is turned on so as for you to stay glued to this channel and get more of creative content that i'll be uploading anytime soon all right thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video do have a lovely day bye